Hey y'all, y'all think filet mignon is tender? Wait until you do it in the instant pot. Pat the steak dry on all sides with paper towels, then season generously on all sides with kosher salt or sea salt. Place the steak in the fridge uncovered to dry brine one to two hours. Then season generously with coarse black pepper. Press the saute button on your instant pot, add the olive oil and the butter. Give the pot a few minutes to heat up thoroughly. Place your steak in the pot and sear each side about one and a half to two minutes. Then remove the steak and set aside. Add your beef broth and then take a wooden spoon to scrape the bottom to deglaze the pan for all those good flavorful bits. Place your trivet in the pot, place your steak on the trivet, and then I'm also going to cook some asparagus. Add the lid and move that switch on top of the lid to the sealed position, then press pressure cook. Use the minus button to go down to four minutes cook time. The pot will begin to preheat. After the pot has preheated, your cook time will start to count down. After it gets to zero, do nothing. Let the pot naturally release for five minutes. When that clock hits five minutes, move the switch on the lid to the vent position and wait for that pin to drop before removing the lid. Once that pin drops, it's safe to remove the lid. Remove the lid, baste the steak with a little garlic paste, adding a pat of butter on top. Remove the steak to a cutting board and let rest 10 minutes. The full recipe and directions is in the description box below the video. Then just slice into it perfect medium rare and enjoy a delicious steak in the Instant Pot. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment. I'll answer every one of you. Till next time, bye-bye y'all.